Hello everybody and welcome back to Epic Street. Today we're going to be taking a look at the screener again because it's that time of the week. Uh, it's Monday and uh, let's take a fresh look at the altcoins that you should probably be paying attention to uh, for the next few days, right? So the again, as usual, uh, the screener uh, is uh, important because you get an overview of the coins that are undervalued, oversold, or the ones that are showing promise of uh, an upswing. Right, so the major uh, metric that I take a look at is uh, the volume. Uh, a, sp a spike in volume is often always uh, seen with a pump in its price, right? And an added bonus is if the price has, if the volume has been increasing for the past few days, and you see a major spike in the daily active addresses, which means that the price is almost always going to go up. <clears throat> a couple more things that you can look at is the MVRV, for example, for this particular coin here, which is a Humanscape or Hum. Uh, is at minus 100%, which is which indicates that a lot of uh, short-term holders are at loss. And which is a good sign uh, from a short-term perspective that the price is oversold, which means you it's a good coin to trade. Uh, let's ignore this. Let's go to Badger Dow. Badger Dow has uh, rallied 3% uh, in, the, uh, in the day, and uh, the volume for it is up 570%. Over the last 70 days, it's been up 40%. Similarly, you've seen, you're seeing a good spike in daily active addresses, right? Uh, so, yeah, so based on this, is uh, this is what we're going to be taking a look at today, right? But before we actually dive deep into the technicals of each of these uh, coins, I want to direct your attention to the FX Street Europe channel if you enjoy the content that we put out and want to stay updated to the hardest trends of the cryptocurrency market, please head on over to our YouTube channel and hit the subscribe button. <clears throat> and you can also follow us on Twitter at FXS Crypto. And myself at Mangeko with the zero at the end. Right, so back to the screener. Uh, let's take a look at these coins here, which is uh, Humanscape, BadgerDAO, and Kybernetal Crystal, which show a lot of potential. Okay, for the first coin was Humanscape. Okay, it's interesting. Uh, just off the top of my head, I can see that the price is has been trying to break out of this. So basically, this was a resistance uh, level that the price tried to break through, failed to push higher, and came back lower, right? And if you look at it from a uh, supply zone perspective, this is a perfect supply zone at work. There, as you can see here. Uh, supply zone formed, which breaks the market structure, retests it in an attempt to move higher, fails, get rejected, gets rejected again, and gets rejected again, right? And as uh, if you if you watch my videos, uh, what I mentioned is that every retest of supply zone weakens it. So hopefully this uh, consolidation here gives rise to a massive upswing that pushes uh, the human scale price above the supply zone's upper limit, which is 0.489. Once we get a daily candlestick close above this, uh, there's a good chance the price is going to go higher. But again, if you look at the uh, the price candlestick structures over here, there was quite a bit of sell off uh, that took place at 0.56. So although the the supply zone makes it uh, an uphill battle for Humanscape, if we get a good pump, I believe uh, we're looking at 0 0.56 as uh, the place where the upside is limited to. And right, just a generalized uh, outlook, right? If, if you look at it from a zoom out perspective, it's, it's forming a rounded bottom. So it honestly makes sense for the price to reach 0 0.56. This is, a, this is a good chance, right? So if, if you're swing trading, this will give you a 74, 75% upswing potential. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much it for uh, Humanscape. Let's take a look at the next coin, which is Badger Dow, which is Badger Perp. All right, so Badger Perp is kind of similar to what a lot of altcoins are uh, doing, which is uh, breaking out of the downtrend. All right, this uh, seems like a pretty good downtrend that is broken. It's trying to stabilize, and as you can see here, 
Yep, it's uh, it's flipped the resistance level into a support. It's retesting it, which is a good sign. If this uh, consolidation here holds above it, then you can expect the price. So the price is already collectively 40 resting above these highs here. So there's no point in uh, targeting these highs over here. The next highs you're going to be taking a look at is this one here at 17.65. So the this rally up from 22nd March to 27th March has cleared uh, the liquidity resting about 12.55. And now it's going to be taking uh, a jab at 17.66. From the current position, this would provide Badger Dow. <clears throat> but so you can open a private position here with stop loss probably like Let's get a look at it from a four hour time perspective. Wait, so I don't see any reason for the price to go lower than the swing low here because collected liquidity resting below these highs here. There was a demand zone formed here as well. Right. So I think if, if you look at it on the time frame, there's a good 7.5 hour trade here, assuming that Bitcoin kind of breaks out of its consolidation, uh, at least favoring the bulls or it doesn't matter if Bitcoin doesn't break out, if it just consolidates there, I think there's a good chance the price could at least head back to this level here at 17.55, 12.55, if not 6.5, if not 17.65, right? Either way, uh, you are looking at a 2.8 hour trade or a 17.63 hour trade, right? Another thing that I just noticed here is that the price is forming some sort of an inverse head and shoulders pattern. This is the left shoulder, head and we're seeing another shoulder. Uh, from this outlook, the head and shoulders forecast a 46% upswing from the breakout, which is just above this uh, previous target that we marked here. It's interesting. And uh, since there's also a decent amount of FVG here, I think there's a good chance price could head up to 22. So from the current position, you are looking at a 144, 140% upswing for Badger Dow uh, in the coming days, perhaps even weeks. Right. So this is a coin that I'm going to keep an eye on. Right. So let's take a look at the next coin of the day, which is Kyber Network Crystal. So I'm not sure if I discussed this last. Uh, in the previous sessions, but it looks like the price has completed a rounded bottom. So it, it's been well almost a year and it's completed this rounded bottom pattern. And if things go well, you are looking at a 73% upswing that awaits KNC. Oh, this is this is really good because uh, unlike a lot of altcoins, uh, which kind of topped off around April, May of last year, and uh, they're still down in the dumps trying to recover, but KNC seems to have pulled a full 180 and it's uh, it's back to Pavilion, which is $4.33. So if you uh, consider this as a rounded bottom pattern and uh, the projections uh, forecast a 72, 73% upswing, which puts KNC at a $7.5. Right, let's uh, take a quick peek at its on-chain metrics. Shishore volume is increasing, which is good. The MVRV is up. Okay, a lot. So the active addresses have spiked as well, right? If you, okay, just a second, the auction volume is also spiking, which is pretty good. Network growth is also amazing. And this is what I wanted to check out. The 365 day metric, right? So if you look at the local tops, right? KNC has often formed some sort of a local top around, oh my God, what the, hold up. Okay, KNC has formed local top around 85%. Right now it's hovering at 65%. So there's a good chance price could 
still continue rallying higher, which supports our thesis of 73% upswing. Right, ignore this for now. Yep, so all the all the coins for today's screeners, uh, there's no exceptions actually. All the three coins are showing pretty good uh, swing trade opportunities. Right, so yeah, that pretty much sums up my analysis for the screeners for today. If you enjoyed this uh, session and want more uh, content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.